I wish there was a fast travel out of here. <laughs> I cannot stress that enough. Bum, 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 bum. Entrance, probably. Aw, oh, rip. I wanted to get away from you. Just like run. <laughs> I don't like these birds. Oh, there were chests there. I gotta go back. What's wrong? It's nothing. Just felt a little dizzy for a second. Uh, maybe from when you protected me earlier? That's right. You did get shot, but I thought you blocked it. Just a scratch, it's no big deal. But it's my fault. Listen, I got worse injuries than this. I get worse injuries than this from shaving. I quit fussing and let's get back to Zeiss. Okay. I want to grab these chests first. Zero bomb. And EP charge. That was worth. Back to Zeiss. Bum, bum, bum. Nope, don't want to fight that sheep. Hmm, don't I know you? Oh, it's you again. I forgot. We don't know your name, I don't think. I don't think you introduced yourself. If you did, I forgot. Huh? We met you on the way back from Elmo. Oh, yeah, no, okay, they didn't tell us your name. You were just Eastern Man. Haha, <laughs> and I appreciate you helping me on my way. I must say it seems more than mere happenstance that we meet again on the road. You might be right. By the way, did you make it to the Hot Springs in Elmo, sir? Indeed I did, but... But please, there's no need to be so formal. Oh, but it does seem to be my meeting with your friend there. My first meeting with your friend. He seems to be a bit green around the edges. Is he well? Huh? Whoa, what's with your face? Agate? Shut it. I said I'm fine. Ah! Oh, Agate's dead. What's wrong with him? One sec. Joshua thumbed, thumbed, thumbed Agate's eyelids back. Not good. His pupils are starting to dilate. I think there may have been something on that bullet. You mean he's been poisoned? Hmm, that appears to be the case. Pupil dilation could be an indicator of some kind of botanical neurotoxin. You're probably right. I can't be absolutely sure, but I think his life may be at risk if we don't get him some help. No. Enough talk. Right now, we have to get him to a doctor. Tita's... Tita, is there one nearby? The Central Factory. There's a clinic on the fourth floor. Hmm, then please show me the way there. I will carry the young man. Or young man, rather. Are you sure? I mean, look look at his body. <laughs> look at how large this man is. Who else would carry Agate? My body's well suited to this kind of task. Let me handle the heavy lifting. And besides, we appear to be in the same business. We are? You mean? I have yet to introduce myself. I'm Zin Vathek. Vathek? Zin Vathek of the Kalvar Republic Guild. Oh, you're from Kalvar. Kalvar was uh, mentioned in Cold Steel a couple of times. I'm pleased to meet you, Bracers of Liberal. That's really cool. It's always nice when you hear about, like, other places. First things first, we have to perform first aid. It looks to be some unique form of neurotoxin. My usual array of antidotes won't work on something like this. Uh, what's gonna happen to him? Well, he's a fighter, so I don't think he'll manage to hold out. I think he'll manage to hold out, but in all likelihood, the longer he stays in this coma, the greater the risk of death. No. Joshua. Sorry I took so long. I had to report in to Kilka. She passed the info on to the military, so if anything comes up, we should find out soon. Okay, thank you. Hey, where'd Zingo? Apparently, he and Kilka know each other. 
They had a lot to discuss. I see. Well, they are both Easterners. So, how's he doing? Um... Not so well, then. Unfortunately, I'm not so well versed in poisons that I can counteract the effects without knowing the ingredients. But Father Vixen might be able to help. Huh? Father Vixen? Um, he's a priest in Zeiss. He's built up a substantial knowledge of medicine by tapping the Septian Church's millennium old archives. He's particularly learned in pharmacology. He may be able to devise some form of remedy to counteract the poison's effects. Ah, I get it. The priest in Roland is also really good with stuff like this. It's certainly worth asking about. It's late, but let's see if going to the church will net us anything. Okay. Church we go. What floor am I on? 4F. Hello, you must be the priest. Tita, what brings you here at this time of night? Oh, Father, please help us save Agate. Oh, I had a really bad itch. Sorry about that. What do you mean? Tita, calm down a sec. Father, you see... I see. Hmm, this is troubling. Is there anything you can do? Thankfully, we do have a treatment here at the church for a vir for virulent nerve toxins. It doesn't nullify the poison, but it does boost the patient's immune system so that he can better fight off the effects on his own. Sister Kiera, you're familiar with the medicine I refer to? I am, but the ingredients... You're out of the ingredients? What do you need, and where can we get them? Zameria moss is what, we're call is what we've called it. It's a species of bioluminescent plant. You should grow deep in the limestone cavern inside the or cave rather but same same difference inside the caldea tunnel well caldea tunnel is how we got to zeiss right that's where we met tita we used seven bracers to collect it in the past the caldea tunnel we went through there when we came here to zeiss this should be a snap then let's go find some of the zemiria moss it just occurred to me that zemiria is the name of the world i like i just remembered like oh that's why the word zemiria sounds familiar what? You two? Yes, Father. My two friends here are bracers. I see. That makes things much easier. At any rate, go back to the guild and talk to the staff before going to the limestone cave. There might be some record from earlier collection trips. Got it. Let's go. The guild, then. Red roof is guild. Ah, you're back. Zin, I didn't know you were still here. Look at how large this man is. Thanks for carrying Agate earlier. Earlier? Why did I say that so weird? We're in your debt. I <laughs> think nothing of it. Always glad to help a friend. So, how's Agate's condition? Well... Hmm, then he's in greater danger than I imagined. If he needs to marry a moss, one moment, while I check the information the church supplied. Ah, here we are. It can evidently be found in the northwest area of the Caldea Limestone Cave, at the shore of an underground lake. Northwest Limestone Cave. Underground Lake. Got it. You might as well put it in the notebook. I've heard it said that the monsters in that place are quite strong. The last time the guild dispatched bracers to gather moss, a team of four veterans were sent. Uh, four veterans? Gathering the moss isn't going to be an easy task, then. Hmm, in that case... As such, I suggest you take this gentleman with you. Hey, can I please finish what I was gonna say? Oh, do you not wish to accompany them? No, I didn't say that. Oh, never mind. You're just as frustrating to deal with as ever. You flatter me. Well, it wasn't intended as flattery. Um, are you gonna come back? Come with us in? I'm back. I'm not okay today. Yes, that seems to be the path that Destiny Dick. Destiny indicates, ah, do I know a thing or two about destiny, my dude? Setting off for Grand Cell tomorrow, but I can certainly accompany you until then. 
That's plenty of time. Thank you. We appreciate it. Um, excuse me. I don't suppose I can come? Huh? I know that sometimes I slow you down, but... I gets hurt because he protected me. I feel like I've got something to do to help. I've got to do something to help. Tita. Hey, Joshua, what do you say? Can we take her with us? Please. I mean, like, Agate's not here. If Joshua says no, then I'm going to be astounded. Do I have a choice? Okay, Tita. Do you promise to let us take the lead and not do anything rash? I promise. That's enough for me. Do you mind, Zin? It's fine by me. Good to have you with us, little one. I mean, she's got a gun. Like, you know, she'll, she'll be helpful. Thank you, sir. She can hold her own up until her HP stat. Well, if that's all settled, then let's get back to the- Let's get to the limestone cave. I said get back because Caldia Tunnel is somewhere we've been. First, we'll have to take the Caldia Tunnel from the central factory basement. Alright, we have Zen in the party. How about that? It's still do these? That's insane that I can still do these. I'm not going to. Honestly? I know I already said this back in chapter 2 where I'm not going to focus on side quests. At this point, I... For Sky 1 at least, I kind of just want to get the game done. <laughs> and then when we play Sky 2, I'm not going to say we're going to do every side quest when I play Sky 2. But maybe there's a chance I'll go more out of my way. I'll do more of the side quests when I play Sky 2. Still not promising I do all of them. But I'll, um, maybe I'll do more of them. Because Sky 1, it's been like a, it's been a good experience. I've been like, I've been like, really like, I'm, I, I can't really say like I've enjoyed the game a lot. Like, oh, the game's been great. Like, I don't know, I, it, it's getting me a little excited for the second one a little bit. Like, I mean, the characters seem neat. There's not really any of them I'm like, I love this character. But also, I'm being patient because I played Cold Steel 1. So I have faith in what they did with Cold Steel 1 and 2 to what they'll do with Sky. So, you know. Really, it's going to depend on how Sky 2 goes, and then I'll be like, oh yeah, Sky was, like, good because it made the payoff work, you know? Honestly, I guess the best way I can put it is, like, there's nothing inherently bad with Sky. Like, there's not really an issue with the game that I'm like... I mean, the, the, the worst thing about the game is the, the, the slow... It's slow, but even then, like, that's not terrible. It hasn't been, like, boring, I guess? I don't know, like... But it hasn't really been super standout. I guess the best way I can describe Sky is it's average, you know? Like, it's an average game. <laughs> like, there hasn't been anything outstanding about it, but there also hasn't been, like, much bad with it. Like, there's not really a negative I can think of, but it's like a, like a jack-of-all-trades, I guess, you know? Like, it, it's consistent, but it never reaches the high peak of, like, wow, it's amazing. If that makes sense. And also, it's a build-up game. Which, we all know that's how Trails rolls. So, it's really gonna come down to what Sky- or maybe the last act of this game, because Cold Steel 1, I think Cold Steel 1 got, like, interesting and hype in, like, Chapter 5, however many chapters were in that game. I don't remember. Was he, like, drinking a jug or something? Was that Orin's jug from FF10? Orin's got a jug. But yeah, Cold Steel 1 didn't get interesting till like, what, Chapter 5? However many chapters? There were, like, 6 or 7, I think. So maybe maybe the end, end game of Sky will be like, yeah, it's gonna get crazy. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of expecting it to. It's a limestone cave. But overall, it's good enough for me to want to play the second one. Let's just put it like that. Haunt, Distend, Composure, Smite. Oh, you use your fist like, um, what's her face? From Cold Steel. I straight up don't remember her name. <laughs> Normally I do what- I, I, I say that and I'm like being sarcastic, like yeah, I totally remember their name. I actually don't remember the chick's name, the one from Cold Steel. 
that like punch with her punches with her gloves or gauntlets or whatever. Ow. Gummy juice. All right, well, did zero damage. Hope that was worth it, buddy. Yo, triple three, let's go. Just like a slot machine, die. Bye. Hold on, I'm getting a text message. Actually, on second thought, I could reply to this later. It's not super important. A leathery tail! And the monster carapace! Bum 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 I love the little hop. Die. Oh, Angelica, that was her name, yeah. She was fine, I didn't really like her very much. I didn't really, I didn't really hate her, but also I didn't really like her. She was, she was like fine, I guess. If I had to pick a character in Cold Steel, it's like, I don't, I'm not like, I'm not crazy about this character. It'd be her, probably. There are worse characters, but like, she wasn't great, I guess. And no, not just because of the elephant in the room, like about like that, but like, that's not even like inherently the reason. Well, not many characters in Cold Steel I really hated, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it. Other than, like, Celine, I guess, from the second- oh, she's in the first game, but, like, she hasn't really talked much in the first game. More of the second game, you get more of Celine die. Yeah. But Celine's like, you know, classic Sendere little animal companion, so it's it's the archetype. Caldia Limestone Cave. This is a really nice looking place. Is this where the uh, Undine drop comes in Tales of Arise? Looks similar to it. So, the Caldia Limestone Cave. Kind of mysterious, don't you think? The monsters I sense inside are ridiculously strong, though. They ain't gonna go down without some serious punishment. Sweetie, if you're scared, maybe you should just go home. You don't have to prove anything. I'm okay. It's scary, but I'll be alright. Besides, we have the Zumeria Moss, right? Right, so shall we head out? So, uh, it grows at the edge of some underground lake. Apparently so, yes. And that lake is supposed to be in the northwest part of the cave. Mm, we should be extra careful as we make our way through. Don't want to lose our bearings, after all. It's music. Kind of dig it. I mean, does Trails ever let you down with music from the two that I've played? <laughs> the answer is no, they don't. I mean, it's the same composer as Who Does Ease. They they never, like, I don't know the actual, like, composer, but the Ease in Trails games never let you down with music. They're always so top-notch. Gone. Did not kill. I'm gonna cry. Ooh, Tita gets a crit. Don't mind if I freaking do. Okay, I'm glad I didn't push you out of the way. You're gonna- Oh, wow, you dumb idiot. You waste your crit on a art. Nice going, buddy. Burp, 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 
All right, no aerial. Got it. Diamond dust. What is that sound effect? You're not Shiva. You can't use that whenever you want. That's a Shiva maneuver. And by Shiva, I mean FF Shiva, obviously, not SMT Shiva. Punch it, Zen. Good job. 